Hi everyone, it's Maggie Bot here to do a Kickstarter preview of <laughs> Tiny Epic Defenders. So this is a follow-up to Tiny Epic Kingdoms, which kickstarted earlier this year. And this is kind of the co-op mode. It's a little pocket game, so it all comes in this little bag here. I'm sure they'll actually upgrade that once it's a real thing, but this is a prototype. So you get a deck of cards and some just health trackers and little dudes to run around. Uh, Game All and Games did something really cool when they said, once we have all our prototypes out to the big guys, the dice towers of the world, we have some extra prototypes. They just you know made some extra decks of cards and a few meeples, which is great. And then they did a contest to see if reviewers wanted to get a prototype and review it. So I was one of the lucky 30 that got a copy, so there's tons of them out there, with an understanding that receiving it meant that I would hopefully post a review. And one cool thing I've seen is that a lot of the reviewers um, entered the contest, posted reviews, and had actually never reviewed before. But because of the excitement of getting something soon and new and before it's even on Kickstarter, um, it definitely garnered a lot of interest. So. This is a one to four player game, lasts 30 to 40 minutes, uh, and the footprint is about this big. So you can play it on a bar top, you can play it on your desk at work, you can really play it anywhere. Uh, I have yet to win this game, I'll be honest. Uh, a couple of times we tried it on just normal modes, like medium to heavy weight, and just got slaughtered. <laughs> couldn't even, couldn't even. Um, I have only once gotten to the epic foe, which is kind of your uh, Wu Fang and ghost stories, where you're like you're going through these hordes of baddies and waiting for an epic foe to show up. And if you defeat the epic foe and you finish the round, you win, supposedly. Um, that being said, this was. Um, I don't believe this is the full finished game because there's only so many epic foes and so many heroes to choose from. By the time it hits Kickstarter, I would imagine it will have a lot more. So you have a horde deck and it gets shuffled up and either an attack comes out, which this is like um, attacking the planes or ruins, or I don't know if I'll be able to easily flip to one, but um, a player card will come out. And this means that this player now gets a turn. And you're shuffling this deck up and revealing one card at a time. And each round that you get through that deck, you're going to add in another horde card. Shuffle it in, re-go through the deck. Once you've gotten through all the horde cards you've assigned to the game, you meet your epic foe and you need to uh, stave them off and protect your capital city. Um, my, biggest, my biggest issue with the game is that, yes, you're protecting your capital city. The only way to do that is to be standing in the outside place that the the hordes are coming in at um, to protect your capital city. Once that place falls, so it turns over, um, you don't get the benefit of being there anymore. So normally each space has a special ability. Once it falls, you don't have a special ability, so you're just standing with no actions or anything you can take, but it's the only way to protect your capital city from danger, because if you're standing in the in the city, you can't protect it if people are coming in, because you're inside the walls and they're attacking the walls. Yep. Um, I understand why the rules are written such a, the, as they are, because the way the healing works in the game is that you go to the capital city to heal. So if you could protect the city and then just heal and just stay there, you would automatically win. But there's there's got to be something else you can do um, not health point related, maybe stacking action points the next round or something. Uh, so that was one thing. The second was from the horde card itself. This ghost and this wolf always attack the ruins and the plains. So you never see a ghost attacking the forest. So this should have just been one graphic. One thing that says ruins planes. Uh, that way your brain isn't trying to think that it does two things. It just does one thing. Uh, the prototype rules weren't super clear about what to do with an epic foe. So it has kind of a space written on it. It's uh, this guy comes out in the planes. But at no point in the rules that they sent to you does it say how to kill it, 
how to attack it, what to do with it. It says that it's written on the card. Um, so we made some assumptions, put out some questions on Board Game Geek, and did the best we could. Uh, the last thing I'll say is that the hero powers, so you have four that come with the set, the powers, uh, each hero gets a different type of power, and the Barbarian and the Warlord were so helpful that I would play them no matter how many players I had, but the only way I'm ever going to play a Cleric is in a four-player game where I have more of a chance of being in the same spaces as my, my fellow players. They're not competitors. I don't know what to call co-op games, but um, the cleric is just not super handy, and they all have the same amount of health points, and I thought there could have been more variants there. Overall, great, sweet little five-minute explanation game. I really like something I can put on a table and is intuitive and wonderful. And if Ghost Stories was this easy to explain, more people would play it, so maybe there's something to that. Uh, my personal tastes don't go for a lot of co-ops. I like to win. I like to dominate. Uh, so I will probably be sticking with my Tiny Epic Kingdoms. But if you're looking for something like a sweet little micro game that'll fit anywhere, I, I don't see why you shouldn't back this. Uh, if it's much more than 15 bucks, you should see what the upgrades are to the bits. But I hope they don't go overboard. The size of this meant that I had it everywhere I went for the last two weeks. So anytime I had just a few minutes, I could say, hey, do you want to learn something? And pull it out of my bag. So that is Tiny Epic Defenders. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Bye.